US is the best country for people to immigrate to for many different reasons. The number one reason is that it's a land of freedom, which means that anybody who moved to the US, even if you came from nothing, no money, as long as you're hardworking and resourceful, there is opportunity for you to rise up in the society and reach the next level. For example, 96% of the millionaires in the US are self-made which means that they came from nothing, but they figure out how can they rise up in the society. But only 4% of those millionaires came from family money. So average people like us who move to the US can continue to rise up in the society. But it's very different from any other countries, which have lots of corruption, such as China, and any other countries, and myself come from China, so I can talk on behalf of China, that will take generations of people who came from lower class, middle class to get into the next level in different countries. For example, in China, the work environment in China is not friendly for people who are older than 35. It's a crazy, it's like age discrimination because a lot of companies, once you reach age 35, they see you as too expensive and too old for the company and they frequently do not promote you anymore or fire you or they continue to hire people who are younger than you who can work longer hours than you but much cheaper. So there's a dilemma for people who are in different countries thinking about how can I continue to grow my career, grow my wealth without work experience in the US. Myself moved to the US with only $800 in my pocket and within four years I became a director product with no friends, no money, no resources and no connections. And I believe all of you guys can make it happen as well. But it took me a really long time to start my immigration journey. So that's why I summarize these five ways for you to immigrate to the US without work experience in the US. So it can speed up your immigration journey as well. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you the bonus tip. How are you able to get remote job opportunities in the US but getting paid the US top dollars without moving to the US? Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io. Want to learn the most effective way to become product manager? You should subscribe to the channel and turn the bell button so that you'll be notified every time I turn on a new video every Wednesday. If you like any free tips today, please make sure to hit the like button and so that's the only way YouTube algorithm will recommend. The number one way to move to the US is EB-5 investment green card. Well, this is not available for most of people and because most of my audience are like me who never come from money, but if you happen to have the money, yes, you can do investment and I believe it requires $1 million investment for you to move to the US and but even with the investment green card, there is a long pipeline, long wait list for you to actually get your green card and especially for countries like China and India and those kind of countries. And because it's a huge population and people with lots of money just trying to buy their green card. So now let's talk about average people's methodology, which is the second way, which is through marriage. I personally do not like this methodology, but someone did it. And I hope if it's through marriage, it's all of true love. The many different ways to get your green card through marriage and actually through marriage is extremely fast. And the fastest way to land your green card through marriage is marry someone who already received 485 a green card approval stamp. In Chinese terms, it's called 四八五男, which means that especially some men or maybe women who receive the green card approval, they're just in the final process to submit application to get a stamp. And this is the fastest way to actually marry these people quickly you can get stamped together as a family. But again, if it's for the true love, please do it. If it's just for the stamp and of green card, I suggest you not to do it. Another way through marriage is very obvious. You can marry a US citizen, but marry a US citizen will have a temporary green card for two years and then you continue to stay married for two years and then you translate into a permanent green card as well. I also have seen people who fake marriage. It's purely transactional business. Well, it's all up to you. I'm just telling you this is a way without working experience in the US, but there's other ways which I'm gonna share with you guys. It's going to work much better for true love and also different ways to land a green card without marriage. The third way, which is work visa using H1B. This is the most popular way for people who land work visa, which is also the way 
I land work visa and also eventually get my own green card. Even if my husband is a US citizen and I decide not to get green cards through him because I was in my long preparation to land my own green card anyway and I always want to land my green card in my own way instead of through marriage. It's just like my personal choice. And, but it took really long time. It took me 11 years to get green card starting from after school, working for a company on H1B sponsorship and getting sponsorship and getting green card sponsorship with a pipeline of green card and then finally land my uh, green card. You can check out this video where I talk about my entire journey and all the twists and turns throughout the entire process. You can check out if this is the right way for you to go through this H1B sponsorship. Regarding H1B sponsorship, can be a company sponsorship. You can also sponsor yourself if you're able to demonstrate your research capabilities or certain kind of capability that's called NIW means National Interest Waiver, you can sponsor yourself as well without the employer. The brand news about H1B is that as long as you're able to impress the hiring manager, impress the employer, you are able to receive H1B sponsorship even if you never work in the US. For example, Suramai Chamani and she's Singaporean and she decided to move to the US without work experience in the US and at the time she doesn't even have her management experience either but she landed a girls plan manager position in the one of the largest cloud company in the US. The reason how she made it happen was that number one thing, she made determination because her husband moved to the US for work transfer, but her husband wasn't able to sponsor her, but she really wanted to land her own job. So that's why she burned her boat, she made decision, I must land the job in the US with h and sponsorship so that I can spend more time with my husband. And actually she wrote three pages of advice to our PM accelerator communities regarding how she made it happen with no work experience in the US but land the girls PM position. This is fantastic news for her and for our communities. You can check out more of her readings and advice right here. So comment below, are you also on h and How long been waiting for your green card? I'd like to know. Uh, the fourth way to immigrate to US without work experience is O1 visa. And actually, O1 visa was mainly designed for people with special talent, could be artists, could be entrepreneurs. Do you know that uh, Donald Trump's wife, Melania Trump, also got her green card through O1 visa because she's an exceptional model? Check out her pictures online, then we understand why US offered her green card. Just move here using O1 visa. But if you're average people like me, but you do have special talent, you can land your own visa as well. For example, I know one of my friends, she's Chinese and she lives in France and she's very good at singing opera. She won several like opera singing competitions and then she got her own green card just by herself as a Chinese citizen. And I also know another friend of mine, he's Indian. He actually got his O1 green card directly through his entrepreneurship. He has his own company, also won some competition through his startup. And then the US offered him O1 visa that eventually turned into a green card as well. You can do it as well with a great lawyer, believe me. The fifth way to work in the US without actually have work experience in the US is by getting your CPT school sponsorship. The way it works is that there's a list of CBT schools, which I can link in the description of this video. They're able to admit you into those schools, but they officially can legally sponsor you to work during the school year. So that you don't need H1B sponsorship, you can immediately learn a job offer, start your new job there, and then you work with a company to start your green card process or work your company to transfer into H1B. This is also another way for you to jumpstart your immigration journey without work experience in the US. Of course, another common way for people to study in the US, get a formal master's or bachelor's degree, and then they transfer into H1B. That's also another way to do it. But here I'm just sharing with you different ways to make it happen so you can choose the best way that works for yourself. Now, let me share with you the most important bonus. Lots of you guys want to immigrate to US because of freedom, but what if you're able to get US top dollars but live in your home country but living as a king or queen? This actually happened to some of our students. One of the students in Thailand, she land a remote CMO position for the US company and getting paid the US dollars, but she lives in Thailand. And you can actually land those opportunities. Of course, those opportunities are harder to pass those interviews, harder to land, but doesn't mean that it is impossible. You just need to be persistent using the right methodology and knowing the hiring process, the cultural differences in the US and your home country. 
I have a separate videos regarding the five best ways to land the remote jobs in the US or outside your home countries so that you are able to secure those $100,000 up to $300,000 jobs yourself as well. You can check out this video right here and take lots of notes. If you have more questions regarding immigration to the US, I'm more than happy to help you and share with my personal experience. Feel free to comment in the description of this video or DM me. Make sure to like this video and share this with all the immigrants out there. This is Dr. Nancy from PM Exerger. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye guys.